experiences that they get on their smartphones extended to other devices. If you think about it, for many people, particularly in developing regions, their first and only computing device is their smartphone. And for hundreds of millions who may not be able to afford a computer, it's really the only device they're ever going to use to access the internet. I mean, for example, today, more smartphones are being sold in China than in any other country. So mobile's opening up new possibilities for people. It's breaking down barriers, it's bridging the digital divide, and Qualcomm's Snapdragon processors are leading the way, powering this new mobile world. Our Snapdragon is really built from the ground up for mobile. I mean, we develop our own CPU, our own graphics processing unit and multimedia, our own modem and connectivity technology, and our own positioning and sensor solutions. Then we put them together into a single highly integrated chip. And we meticulously optimize the hardware and the software to deliver the best experiences. So now, thanks to Snapdragon's jaw-dropping speeds, smooth graphics and multimedia and best-in-class battery life, it really is the chipset of choice for most smartphone makers. Qualcomm currently powers more than 500 devices, and there's more than 400 new models in design. Now, this chip industry, it is highly competitive, but we have the advantage of being mobile natives, and we have been since day one. And we're continually creating new breakthroughs, which lead to amazing new products, including products from companies like Microsoft. I mean, two years ago, right here on this stage, Microsoft took a major step forward, announcing that the next version of Windows would be born mobile, that it would run on the chips that power smartphones and tablets. Then last year, they showed how Windows was completely reimagined, starting from the chipset all the way to the user experience. And this year, Paul? <laughs> Welcome, my friend, Steve Ballmer, Microsoft CEO. Glad to have you here. Well, thanks, Paul. Thanks, all of you. It's uh, great to be back here at CES with Qualcomm. Uh, this year, I'm here to actually have a chance to show you some of the phenomenal new Windows devices on Snapdragon and on the market today. I mean, it was a big year. Microsoft reimagined Windows and introduced complete, completely new forms of mobile devices into the world. Well, we, we really have, and maybe if, if you don't mind, we'll have a chance to Check show you just a couple, couple of things here. The new Windows PCs, tablets, and phones, I think, are, are stunning. Windows RT devices are the new addition to the family. They're highly mobile, thin, lightweight, uh, super, super impressive battery life, and they have instant on, always connected operation. This one is the Samsung Atif, and right here we have the Dell XPS. They're both powered by Snapdragon. They're quite unique in how they bring together the best of worlds, the world of the tablet and the PC, the top in the keyboard, computing, and mobile, which we think make them absolutely perfect for work and for play. So why don't we start with play? I mean, these tablets are really wonderful. They're super fast and fluid, and they're connected to a growing world of applications. Well, they're now four times the number of applications that we had at the time of Windows launch just a couple months ago. 10,000 applications were added in the last month alone, including some fantastic new applications like Expedia and Fitbit, Huffington Post, the No Textbooks, Dropbox, Barnes & Noble Nook, the Disney's Where's My Water application, and we have a lot of others coming, including CNN, Sony's Crackle, Songza, Twitter, and again, many, many more, Paul. You know, and uh, these Windows RT devices, I mean, they really do let you enjoy hours and hours of entertainment, but they also have plenty of power and productivity to get your work done, too. Yeah, I mean, as you can see, Microsoft Office, Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and these easily convert between the two worlds of work and play just by attaching the keyboard. Just that simple, 
And built into every Windows RT device is our new world-class Office 2013 productivity suite with Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and OneNote. Windows tablets are the only tablets in the world with Office. And I think the capability to not only be to have some fun, but to be really productive. Absolutely. I mean, it, it, what I really like seeing is how Microsoft took many of these innovations that originated in mobile and incorporated them into Windows to redefine the computing experience. So, okay, so we talked about these things. What about these smartphones you got here? Well, these guys have been great partners on the phone, and we really appreciate it. And the new Windows phones, I think, are incredible. In, in November, we reported that sales of Windows phones were four times greater than during the same year last year, during the same time last year. And during the week of Christmas, we were running at five times the number of phones from the Christmas week of, of, of last year. Oh, it's not hard to see why. Look, you got Snapdragon in the middle, you got these great designs. I mean, this hardware is killer. Well, this one is the Nokia Lumia 920. And this is the Windows uh, Phone 8X from HTC. These Windows phones are cutting edge and are really leading the smartphone industry with hardware capabilities like optical, ima <laughs> optical image stabilization 